All right, today we are going to be covering installing ARP head studs into a 2005 Dodge Cummins. Now, if you read the instructions, which I highly suggest you do, I know most of my viewers are men, and uh, this is against your guys' like, mechanic religion, but please read these. There are longer studs that go on the exhaust side, and you need to make sure those are the right ones. Now, you are not supposed to tighten these studs down at all into the block. I am just using the wrench just to make sure it's bottomed out. You do not torque it anywhere past just seated. Actually, the instructions recommend not doing this at all. They just recommend um, cleaning every single thread and making sure it threads are nice and smooth, but I don't have the freaking finger strength to do that, so I am just using a little bit of help from my wrench. And this is quite the process, but get all of them installed, make sure all of them are seated equally. Like I said, the longer studs go towards the exhaust side of the engine. All right, and then you want to install the head gasket after that. I am using a stock head gasket. Um, make sure you install the right head gasket as per what was removed or recommended for your build. And then you can install the head. Make sure the head is nice and seated. I did not show this, but you are supposed to clean the surfaces. Make sure your block and head surfaces are like pristine clean, like perfect clean. After that, install the nuts onto the studs, which what I'm doing here is I'm actually using the grease that they send you and I am greasing all the studs as per the instructions. And then once I have all the studs greased on those threads, then I thread on the washers and the nuts. It is very important that these are properly lubed and I highly recommend using their specific grease because of their specific torque specs for these. Trust the people that made it. Guys, trust the people that make the parts. Don't be changing things up just because you think you know better. After that, you can do the first torque spec in the sequence. Following the sequence, it does recommend to look and verify the sequence. As you can see, I do have my diesel laptops out there and I did verify that the sequence on the laptop is the same as the sequence on the paper. Usually I would mark these, but because we are not doing torque turn, I can just go back through and recheck whatever studs I need to without having to worry about that 90 degrees that you can't really check without them being marked. The sequence is fairly self-explanatory. It's basically working from the inside out um, switching between each side. The very last torque spec is 125 foot pounds and I checked that torque twice in that sequence and then I let it sit for a few days and then I rechecked it again. I know 125 foot pounds kind of seems low. It seemed low to me. I'm used to bigger engines and torque to yield but according to ARP and everybody that uses these that is the correct torque spec and because of how studs work, you don't need a super high torque like you do on torque to yield stock head bolts. Again, I like to check my torques. So there are three different torque specs in this. I don't remember what the first two are. I just know the last one is 125 foot pounds. <laughs> 